Secondly, um, I aim to look at the effect of isolation by the Rupununi savanna. Um, this was an image I took on the expedition that I went on in the fall. In the background, we have Kusad Mountain here. So as I mentioned before, you know, it being unlikely for something like a frog that lives in the forest to cross the, the savanna, if this is a tropical rainforest up here, this habitat is very inhospitable for that species, and it's not going to cross the savanna. And I want to see exactly what the effect this savanna has had on smaller, isolated mountains to the, uh, to the Kanukus. Good. So it's the same map as before, but now for this scope of the survey, I want to hit these isolated forest mountain islands. So this down here being Kusad Mountain, this is Shariri Mountain, and then here's a series of other small mountains that I would like to be able to hit. I was fortunate enough, again, last fall, to be able to survey Kusad Mountain, and I'm hoping that within the next few trips that I'm able to make, I'm able to reach these other forest island mountains. So they're all, all of these are surrounded by savanna, and the mountains themselves contain at least dry tropical forests. Even if it's not lowland tropical forests, there will be different species that are found there compared to the savanna. And I want to see not only how different are each population from each other, but how different they are from the Kanuku populations. So we might find that some of these, you know, even though they're, you know, you can see that there are some little mountainous regions within, and they might basically represent uh, channels, essentially, for the organisms to disperse. In the right time of year, it might be humid enough that they're able to go there. And genetically, I'll be able to determine where these populations originated from, where they're going to, and just how much back and forth gene flow there is, and essentially when it occurred. So this was another one of the, the habitats. So this is the, this Kusad Mountain in the background. And this here is actually, these are reeds. This was a pond that got about, in the dry season, it was still about seven feet deep. Um, and as it was, our, our aquatic beetle expert in just a short amount of time there found a few new species to science in just this pond alone.